Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 3 at 10. I'm Leah Lynchide. 18 Democrats are stepping up to be the next governor of Wisconsin and take on Scott Walker this year. Half of them were in Madison tonight for a forum. Our Rose Schmidt is back from that event with what they had to say. Rose? That's right, Leah. While some may see it as a crowded field, others say the diversity is only making their voices louder. We asked a few of the candidates at the forum today why they want to be governor and what makes them different from their opponents. As more and more candidates enter the governor's race, forums across the state of Wisconsin are showcasing the crowded field of Democrats. I think the, the exciting part about having so many candidates moving forward is that we have a lot of voices out there talking about how the Republican agenda has been so damaging to Wisconsin. At an event Sunday night at La Follette High School, members of the group Eastside Progressives invited the nine candidates they see as the frontrunners. So we wanted people who had a campaign manager, an active campaign, and were raising money. Of the candidates we were able to speak to, we asked them to give us their best elevator pitch, why they want to be governor, and what sets them apart. I'm the only veteran in this race, and the other veterans around the state I've talked to would like a veteran in the governor's chair. I'm a hunter and a fisherman. I'm well known in northern and western Wisconsin, and I'm an advocate. I'm an advocate for regular folks. I'm the one and only candidate in the race born and raised on a farm, and it's important that we reconnect with rural Wisconsin. I've been fighting for women's rights my whole life as head of NARAL Pro-Choice Wisconsin and also in the state legislature, and I think we need someone who's a proven progressive leader. As firefighters, we respond to those on the worst days of their lives. And when people are at their worst, we have to be at our best. Representative Melissa Sargent moderated the forum, asking them their stances on issues like road repairs, legalization of marijuana, job creation, and other topics important to the candidates. For me, that means things like the free tuition bill that I introduced. It means refinancing student debt. It means health care for all. One of the things that's going to be critical is establishing a legislative agenda that is going to represent the ideal is going to represent the aspirations of the people of Wisconsin. They tried to give the packed crowd a little insight into who they are, what their families are like, and what's important to them. We live all across the state of Wisconsin. I started my career as a teacher in Toma, an administrator, and we moved to Oakville, which is just outside of Fond du The candidates come from different cities, and they have different backgrounds. But they're all united under one premise, the need to beat Governor Scott Walker in November. By show of hands, who, who thinks politics as usual is working? Anybody? Let's see your hand. Anybody? I don't either. We reached out to Governor Walker's campaign. A statement from the spokesperson from the Republican Party of Wisconsin said, while Democrat candidates for governor continue to fight about how to take Wisconsin backward and offer nothing but the same failed policies of yesterday, Scott Walker is getting positive things done for Wisconsin. In the meantime, it's still anybody's race, and a lot can happen between now and November. While there are currently 18 Democratic candidates registered with the Elections Commission, there's always the possibility that even more could emerge over the next couple of months. Quite a packed field. All right, our Rose Schmidt reporting for us tonight. Thanks, Rose. Thanks.